Good day from the 65th Annual Cannes Film Festival. I'm Ian Roberts, and I'm presenting to you a program created by Paramax and Mund West, a program entitled Con Echo 2012 in partnership with Screen International. In our program, we have a unique opportunity to take a look into the world of film finance. Through a series of interviews and roundtables, we gain valuable insight from the leaders of the film finance industry and how they are bridging the gap between unique storytelling and the financial resources to make them become a big screen cinematic experience. In this edition of our Con Echo series, we had the opportunity to sit down with Martin Cup, executive director of the AFCI and his colleagues across the globe in understanding the role of international, national and regional film commissions. Let's hear what they had to say. My name is Martin Cuff and I am the executive director of an association called the Association of Film Commissioners International. And collectively we make up uh, government agencies predominantly who drive economic development from the film industry. The nature of film commissions and, and uh, film agencies that promote uh, the development of economies through film are all very different. And we're going to go through the team and discuss exactly how their film commissions are structured and the, the major roles that they play within their own communities. What are the Germans doing differently? Is this a similar kind of structure? Um, in Germany, yes, it's similar like in France. Um, but the FFA, so the Federal German Federal Film Fund or Board, um, we collect the money, like in France, the CNC, we collect them from the ticket prices or from the DVD. If you buy a DVD, then we get a percentage of this and then we give it back to the industry. So we get money from the industry to give it to the industry. It's very classic what we are doing. We're doing this since, I think, 45 years, so we are not that old, but we are also old for Germany. <laughs> And in Germany, it's a special, I think it's very special in Germany because we're a federal um, country. So it means we have regional fundings and we have the national funding. And we have since seven years now, we have the DFFF, and this is tax incentive money. It's like the trip what we have in France. What point in your lives did you realize that film was something that you wanted to be involved with? And at what point did it draw, did it, that it drawn you that the government had a role in this? That's a good question, but it's not so easy to answer, I think. Um, I think the first point was when I saw the first film, and it was Star Wars, we talked about this. Um, it was really so wonderful, and I thought, oh wow, I want to do also this kind of stuff. It was really, it, it was imagined, it was, I don't know, it was more than power. <laughs> and the second um, point was when I worked, my first job in the film industry was to work with Dieter Koslik. He's now the director of the Berlin Film Festival. And he asked me to work for him. And I said, no, I, yeah, but I'm not really sure. And then he showed me all the different kinds of um, of new worlds, you know, you can you can work for world agent, you can work for production, you can work for distribution, and I thought, wow, there's so many things, and it's really it's an own an own world which I didn't know, and this and was the second point. That's almost our our role, I think, is to try and explain to people the multiple universes that yeah. we're able to to work in as a combination of how you monetize culture and how you create opportunity for for real people. I mean, can is fantastic, but it's the film industry is about real people and real jobs. Um, and I think that that's what, so thank you for continuing to do what you do and, and help make the economies work in your various places of origin. Thank you for watching our Con Echo 2012 series. 